Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. You have the address? It's the alley off of Liso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. What's up, guys? Waddle Gaming here, and welcome back to more L.A. Noir. Today we're starting our third homicide case, the Silk Stocking Murders. So we're almost halfway through homicide now. We've only got three cases to go after this one. So let's head over to the crime scene and we'll see what we've got. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. For Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Uh, just a second. What is this guy doing? Yeah, that's right. You better fix yourself. Fine. What have we got? The lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Okay, so we got lacerations, same as last time. Kiss the blood, BD. Black Dahlia. Although it could not be the Black Dahlia, we don't know. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. That looks incredibly nasty. Uh, is there anything on the other hand? Yes, there is. 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Right, so exactly nothing then. Great. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. That's not something nice to go think about, Phelps, but... Is there anything else around... I'm not even going to bother picking that up. Right, so we have got a blood trail. I think we should follow this.
May as well follow the trail. We've got nothing better to do, Phelps, so sure, let's follow the trail. We have got a hat. Antonia. Huh, same as the library card. Right, so first name Antonia. Last name we do not know. So where is this trail pointing me? It's pointing me up to this trash can. Proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains. No way is this coincidence. Right, so whoever did this spread her personal effects around, and that's not a pretty thing to do. On it goes. Yes, on indeed. Where are we going next? We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. What is over here? House keys, strung up like bait on a hook. Okay. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. And something else? Wait, what? I heard the ding. Let me have it. That's got to be a code or a cipher. 253. Okay, need to look out for a lockbox of some sort. And where else is this going? Roof. Where are you taking us? Rusty, are you picking your nose or are you just pointing at something? Because I couldn't tell. Right, Phelps, time to get your daily workout routine going. Get up those steps, because we need to figure out what this last person's name is. Pigeons. Pigeons in LA. Oh, we got something here. This is A. Maldonado. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He left them for us. There you go, Phelps. I got a new ammo. Told you this might die. Or he might just be getting more confident. And a lot more violent. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Okay, and we've got to yet go up another part of the roof. The trail points up. This is a lot of blood for one person. Oh, there's something else here. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? He's baiting you, Phelps. Figure the goddamn thing out on your own. And, oh, uh, here, here's the can with the blood in it. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Please tell me that's paint and not blood. Bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Alright, so we've got a positive ID on our victim. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, and that is so much better when you don't have to climb back down there yourself. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him? We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway, but doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Rusty's razor, you say? That sounds like a smart lawyer can use that to throw out everything. 
I don't just mean the case. He could get sued for doing that. Anyway, though. Uh, wait, where am I going exactly? Just up here. Ruined my car. You say what now? Who ruined what car and what are you talk people talking about? You know what? Never mind. Wait just a moment. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Right, let's get up to our room and see if anything is amiss. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. You get moving. I'm already up the stairs. Oh boy. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. Okay then. And I will do the thing that Fimbar won't. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from. My guess? Probably a church. Or somewhere religious. Because it looks like an iron thing off one of the fences. And we have got a note. What is this? Okay, we have an address. An attorney's letter. Okay, so they were getting... Divorced? Maybe? Right, what else have we got in here? The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Interesting. Right, that's all we have for up here. Let's head back down and interrogate this lady down here. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Okay, so, any possible suspects? Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband. Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. And where'd she go? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Yeah, I don't believe that for one second. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. 
Have you had a break-in recently, by the way? You've had a break-in? No! That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Look, you nosy old hag, stop wasting my time. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. I'm sure you do. And how'd the breakdown of marriage? Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Oh really? Because I have a photograph that shows different. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we could check out the old Arano bar. What a joyous ray of sunshine that that woman really is. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. I think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, Phelps. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. It makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Right, which apartment is he in? Uh, McMahon, Petrie, nope, that's not right. Aldonado is in apartment 304. 304, you say? And would 304 just happen to be at the top of the stairs to make me walk all the way up? Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. I got now, 100 pounds. I don't want no trouble. All right. If you really want to dance. You boys really want to pick a fight with LAPD detectives. I don't think you're going to win. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Should get the whole place of going over. 
then talk to the neighbors. Okay, okay, okay. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Yeah, sure, Finbar. What have we got around here? Nope, nothing around here. Other side, maybe? No. We got nothing in this room. Rusty needs to go pick up his hat. Uh, wait, what even is there in this room? I think there's only, like, two things. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. This will take some explaining. He got a lot of blood. A lot of of blood. Right. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Right. Knock, knock. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Alright, what a bloody useless person he was. LAPD, come out and speak with me. No good. Nobody Or they're just being rude, one of the two. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. That was intriguing. All right, what about this door down here? Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Yeah, that's right, Phelps, you tell him. Right, so... What have we got to do from here? I think we got to go to the El Dorado bar. So we can figure out where exactly she went after then. So if we have a look at our locations real quick, what have we got? Just pick fruit. And, yeah, let's go to the El Dorado bar. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. Car 11 K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11 K, en route. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just nods away from the gut. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? gutted on the fucking sidewalk.
captain is waiting like for you nice downstairs with anchor. The... Right, well, then we'd better go down and see what they want. Mary says I'll sit. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all those fares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Okay, then. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Have changed my mind you would not give me a square deal. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's interesting. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Well, hell, you told me to come down here, and now we're going to go back up. Fine. Right, where is That's he? This one right here? Yeah, the one with the see-through glass. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Right, Angel, I'll tell you how this works. I asked you questions, you answered them truthfully. Got it? Good, let's begin. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe? She didn't stay long. Okay, there's a lie right there. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. Her brother will tell you I was at home. Did I tell you about the part what happens if you keep lying to me? We have a witness who confirms that you are arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out and I went out after her and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. A brown Ford Coupe, you say? Okay. What about the uh, divorce proceedings, Angel? You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You're in denial. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. And I'm telling you right now that you would have accepted the divorce because I have evidence here saying otherwise. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? 
Size eight. What difference does that make? Okay, size eight. So there's a link right there. What does he look like? He is. I don't know. I can't tell. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. And the shirt? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Do I need to get Finbar to slap the crap out of you? Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Right, he was a complete nut of bust. So, we've got two places left to go now. We've got the El Dorado Bar and Just Pick Fruit. So, let's head down to the good old El Dorado, which is where I was going to go earlier. See if this guy's got anything for us. Right, the El Dorado Bar. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Ah, these would be the divorce papers then. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Right. These need to come with me. So, let's start off with missing jewelry. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. You know, the temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Yes, maybe because of a certain creep, maybe. And where'd she go? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey! Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. 
One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Right, he's definitely not our guy. Now, I noticed there was someone out here, but... You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Really. Well, that rings true. Now, who are you and what do you want? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? No, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Okay, that guy is very suspicious. Just picked fruit market. That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. Right, so we need to get over to Just Pick Fruit Market and figure out exactly what happened after that point. And it is relatively close enough, so I'm just going to cut there. Handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Phelps, are we gonna notice the uh could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork? Phelps, are we gonna notice the obvious thing and watched how that guy with a trolley just glitch through this thing right here? How the hell did he do that? Are you working Friday night? Fine, so we, we better go, go interrogate this guy, even though we saw him like, you know, uh, two minutes ago. Sir, I'm the wait. You look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Because I've got questions. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble, I'm just trying to make a buck. Right, so he lied about that to my face then, good. And what was your contact with her? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. And where'd she go after that? Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Probably not a good idea if you're asked for that because we don't get warrants in this game. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. That is a lot of... That is so not the odd bottle. That is like more than one bottle. It's not fun. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that's like, you know, enough to fill out a liquor store. Right, so what have we got here? We've got a box. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Hang on, I remember what that combination is because we got it right at the start of this thing. Yeah, the dot pattern note. 253. Okay, Clem's in a little bit of trouble here, I will not lie.
And yeah, that's not a good message to send. Right, and... Oh boy. Clem's a little bit of a sicko. Why cut someone who's already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clem! And Clem's running. What a surprise that makes. Oh, you're in a pickup, buddy. You're not going to get too far. God damn it. Get after him, Cole. I'm almost tempted to let Finbar rip his arms and legs off. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. It's a goddamn pickup, man. Shooting the tires shouldn't cold. be hard. Spin him out. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Shoot the tire, Finbar. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. And sick jump. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. That was interesting. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. I w it's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Oh, we've got him. Right, are you out of the car and maybe I won't shoot you? That's it. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him that crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Oh, look at that. With a body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clem Feeney to the gas chamber. And this is where I'm leaving this episode off for today. Next time, I think we have the white shoe slaying. So that case is coming up next. It'll be another long one. So drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp?